In the last video, I discussed some basic concepts regarding quadratic equation and in this video, I will be discussing about how to solve quadratic equations. There are basically three methods that we can use to solve quadratic equations. The first one is factorization. Second one is by completing square the third one is by using quadratic formula and in this video I'll be discussing how to factorize a particular quadratic equation in order to solve it so let's go to one example so that things become clear to you. Let's suppose we have quadratic equation x square plus 10x plus 16 is equal to 0. Now, by the process of factorization, we need to split this middle term which contains x into two terms in such a way that product of these two terms would be equal to x square times 16. Uh, let's let's write in how many different ways we can split 10x we can split 10x into x plus 9x or 2x plus 8x or 3x plus 7x or 4x plus 6x or 5x plus 5x now let's calculate the product of these two terms x square plus x square times 16 is 16x square so now let's check the product of these two terms it's x times 9x it's 9x square 2x times 8x 16x square and 3x times 21x uh, 3x times 7x is 21x square and 4x times 6x is 24x square and 5x times 5x is 25x square we consider this one because product of 2x and 8x is 16x square and the product of x square and 16 is x square. This is a general rule. We just need to split this middle term into two terms in such a way that the product of those two terms is equal to product of these two terms. So we split 10x into 8x and 2x. So we write this implies x square plus 2x plus 8x plus 16 equal to 0 now we can take x common from these two terms x and we get x plus 2 in the brackets because x times x is x square and x times 2 is 2x and we can take 8 common from these two terms and we get x plus 2 in the brackets now we can take x, take x plus 2 common from these two terms we get x plus 2 common and we get x plus 8 in the brackets and it is equal to 0 now we put both of both of x plus 2 and x plus 8 equal to 0 x plus 2 is equal to 0 and x plus 8 is equal to 0 and by x plus 2 is equal to 0 we get x is equal to minus 2 and by x plus 8 equal to 0 we get x is equal to minus 8 and this is a solution of this given quadratic equation now let's go through one more example so that the things become even more clear to you. Let's suppose we have equation which is of the form 2x square plus 15x plus 25 equal to 0. Now by the process of factorization I just repeat it again. We need to split this middle term which contains x into two terms in such a way that the product of those two terms is equal to product of this term and this term. Now let's calculate the product of these two terms. It's 2x square times 25, it's 50x square. Now let's try the different combinations of 15x in which we can split 15x. Uh, we can split 15x into x plus 14x is equal to 2x plus 13x, or we can write 3x plus 12x, or we can write 4x plus uh, 11x, or we can write 5x plus 10x. We stop here because the product of 5x and 10x is. 5x times 10x is 50x square and we want product 50x square so we split 15x into 5x and 10x plus 25 is equal to 0 
and we can take x comma from these first two terms and we get 2x plus 5 in the brackets now we can take 5 common from the third term and the fourth term 5 is common and we get 2x plus 5 is equal to 0 now we can take 2x plus 5 common from these two terms and it would be equal to x plus 5 would be in the brackets and it's equal to 0 now we put both of these two both of the both of um, now we can put 2x plus 5 and x plus 5 equal to 0 one by one and uh, we get x is equal to minus 5 by 2 from here and we get x is equal to minus 5 here and this is the solution of this quadratic equation and we can write x is equal to minus 5 by 2 comma minus 5 let's go to one more example and these questions can be asked in some tricky way and let's go through one of the examples it's x square minus 8x plus 15 is equal to 0 now the product of this term and this term is equal to 15x square now we want to split this middle term into two terms in such a way that the product of those two terms is equal to 15x square now let's try to split this term uh, minus 8x into a number of different ways let's try it's minus x minus 7x now the terms in which we split minus 8x should be both negative because the product of negative terms is positive and we have product positive here so it's minus x as, uh, minus x minus 7x we can try minus 2x minus 6x or we can try minus, try minus 3x minus 5x we stop here because product of minus 3x and minus 5x is 15x here so we can write it like x square minus we can write this equation like x square minus 5x minus 3x plus 15 is equal to 0 we can take x common from here we get x minus 5 in the brackets we can take minus 3 common from here is equal to 0 and now we can take x minus 5 common from these two terms and we get x minus 3 in the brackets here now we put both x minus 5 and x minus 3 is equal to 0 one by one and we get x is equal to 5 from here and we get x is equal to 3 here and this is the solution of this quadratic equation I'll go to one uh, two more problems very quickly this note uh, just uh, have a look and and be careful because these problems are pretty tricky and students usually do mistakes in such problems minus 30 is equal to 0 we have minus 7x here and it's 7x here and we need to split minus 7x in such a way that product of the terms let's let's try different ways minus 7x is equal to minus 10x plus 3x because it's minus 7x here that's why it will be minus 10x here and because it's 7x here then it will be 10x minus 3x so we split minus 7x into minus 10x plus 3x and we split 7x into 10x minus 3x so we can write this equation like minus 10x plus 3x minus 30 is equal to 0 and we can take x common from here and we get x minus 10 in the brackets and we can take 3 common from these two terms we x minus 10 in the brackets again and we can take x minus 10 common from these two terms we get x plus 3 is equal to 0 now we can put both of these equal to 0 and we get x is equal to 10 from here and x is equal to minus 3 from here and this is the solution for this quadratic equation now we can write this like x square plus 10x minus 3x minus 30 is equal to 0 and we can take x common from first two terms we can take minus 3 common from these two terms and we get plus 10 is equal to 0 and we can take x plus 10 common from these terms x plus 10 and we get x minus 3 in the brackets is equal to 0 
now we can put both of these equal to 0 and we will get answer x is equal to minus 10 from here and x is equal to 3 from here and this is the solution of this quadratic equation and in the next video I'll be discussing about how to complete scale in order to solve a particular quadratic equations until the until then uh, goodbye